When I was in fourth grade, I wanted to be a break dancer. I wanted so bad to be a break dancer that I came to school one day to try to impress the break dance crew with a bunch of bandanas tied all over me. I think I had one probably like this. I had one on one on my arm. When they walked by, they looked over at me and I had probably 85 bandanas all over myself, on my head, on my neck, on my arms, on my biceps, my triceps, my whatever seps. I wanted to look like a breaker and apparently I was just out of my mind and I thought that's what breakers look like. Uh, the break dance crew walks by and they stop and I'm all by myself against the fence and the breakdance leader looks right at me and then he looks back at his crew and he looks right at me and he goes, he think he a breaker and they keep walking. Why do we spend so much time complaining about people not accepting us and the way we look? And the other half of us, we spend so much time trying so hard to be accepted and to look just like everyone else so we will be accepted. Do you see how this is a never-ending cycle? Some of us want so bad to fit in. Some of us want so bad to not fit in. And then some of us, when we fit in, we want everyone else to think that we're not fitting in so that we fit in more with the people that we don't want to fit, fit, in, fit in with. It's exhausting. Believe me, I've been there. I spent so many years of my life as a chameleon trying to be this guy, trying to be this guy, trying to impress these guys. It's exhausting. One day I would tuck in my shirt and try to impress the sports guys. The next day I wore mismatched socks and the shirt of a band you've never heard of because I wanted to impress the punk rocker guys at school. I think we have two types of people, pioneers and settlers. The pioneers were the ones that had a machete and went straight into the jungle, into the woods, they brought Sacagawea with them. Now, I'd rather bring Pocahontas, but you know, Sacagawea, she'll do. They went ahead of everybody else to find new territory, to blaze new trails. They're imperative. Nothing would ever push forward. Nothing would ever be accomplished without pioneers. But the pioneers can't complain about the settlers, and the settlers can't complain about the pioneers. If you wear Nike Elite socks, congratulations, you must be a baller and you just spent $20 on some socks. Nike is brilliant. If you're a pioneer, don't complain about the settlers. They are the ones, once you create something, once you blaze a new trail, they are the ones that will manage that trail. You know, I was uh, drawing with my son, Jonah, the other day with these paint pens from Board Sticks, pretty cool. Uh, we were drawing and now, if you looked at this, you might say, that's stupid. He was drawing on one side and I was drawing on one side and then we would draw on each other's and stuff. It was really fun. Who's to say that this is stupid? Who's to say that this is stupid art? This art doesn't make any sense. Who's to say that what you wear is stupid? Who's to say that the things that you're into is stupid? Who's to say that it's out of style? Who's to say that it's in style? It's so crazy that Today, I could get away with wearing these. I could get away with wearing these glasses. I could also probably get away with these. Not as much, but I could probably get away with them. I could get away with wearing the fold-outs. I could probably get away with wearing the fold-outs. But when I rock these, everyone goes, well, that's kind of weird. But why? Why are we deciding that this is kind of weird? Please don't tell me you're so original and so creative and so clever because you wear a pair of these. I know, you got them at Claire's. Good job, they were three dollars. But if you really wanted to be original, if you really wanted to stand out, you would rock these from the thrift shop. I'm gonna pop some tags. Because you would actually be doing something no one else is doing, which is wearing glasses that were like from some grandma. When I was in high school, I was waiting for my ride after school and there was a pickup truck with two guys and a girl from my school, kids I didn't know, they were right near me, and they were listening to a band called Nirvana. The lead singer of Nirvana is, you're right, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain 
was a unique individual. He was also a very depressed individual. He wrote all this music. It became the band Nirvana. Everybody loved it. It sold millions of copies. But as I'm watching these kind of preppy looking kids from my high school that I didn't know, headbanging to this song, Smells Like Teen Spirit, I thought, isn't that funny? That if Kurt Cobain, as a high school kid, went to this high school, he would get made fun of, he would get bullied, he would get pushed around, because Homeboy wore a dress to school sometimes. He wore makeup, like lipstick, with combat boots. He was someone that just really pushed against society and pushed against conformity. But most of the people that then loved his music would say, oh, we don't like, we don't like Kurt Cobain. But then once he became famous, then they liked Kurt Cobain. I think because something deep inside us, as much as we wear Nike Elite socks, as much as we wear $500 Ugg boots, as much as we want to look like everybody else and fit in, there's also some part of us that knows that we are an individual, that we are created to be unique. We are created to be different. Now, let's stop getting mad at the people that are really embracing that. People like CeeLo. Homeboy wears a feather boa and walks around with a Persian kitten. But a lot of people say, oh, I love his music. But if he sat next to you in class in high school, you'd probably make fun of him. There's something weird about that. I'm really convinced that if the pioneers would just accept the fact that some people are settlers, those are the Nike Elite sock folks, and the settlers just accept that some people are pioneers. We need each other. Look at this. I want to show you the pants that I wore in high school. Pan down to these pants. Guys, look at these pants I wore in high school. I wore these pants in high school. If I wore these pants now, I would get clowned. Look at me. I would get clowned for wearing these pants because they're ridiculous. They almost cover my shoes. These were my pants when I was a senior in high school. I can't get these things off. If I wanted to wear these today, and then I complained about everyone hating my pants, whose fault is that? Part of it is their fault. Part of it is my fault. I'm trying to not fit in. What are the rest of us supposed to do? We can say, oh, that's great, but you are setting yourself apart. If I like to wear a bandana like this all the time, and I was trying to start a new trend, or I just liked how it looked, pioneers, listen. You will face some pushback. People will think it looks dumb. People think it looks stupid. The people will understand. It doesn't mean you have to stop, but just accept the fact that you are gonna get looked at funny, all right? It's just how it works. You're a pioneer. Own it. I got looked at funny all the time for stuff I did. So, pioneers, own it. Be unique. Settlers, own it. And stop giving the pioneers such a hard time. And pioneers, stop giving the settlers such a hard time. Is what really matters your clothes? What if you were known for the way you treat people more than the type of clothes you wear or the type of group you hang out with? What if you were known for that? I got voted. As a senior in high school, I got voted person most likely to change the world. I did not get voted best dressed. But what if you were known for the types of relationships you had and the way you treated people and your attitude about life and your ability to take chances and your guts? What if you were known for that rather than just known for what kind of clothes you wear or what kind of car you drive? So what does this come down to? It comes down to the fact that every human being wants to matter and they want to belong. We want so bad to matter. We want so bad to be unique, to be individual, to have a voice. We work together and that's the point, is that pioneers need to appreciate the settlers. The settlers need to appreciate the pioneers. And that's the way that we can all matter and belong. Are you among the masses? And you will never pass us. Are you among the masses?